Dan, can you tell us a little bit about Philly Rising and what you do? Sure. Uh, Philly Rising Collaborative is basically grassroots community development that's sponsored by the city. Um, and I think that sounds like it's very intuitive and, and every city would have something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, uh, community development isn't often done from the bottom up. A lot of times, uh, historically, it's been gone from the top down. Uh, what we do is we go out and identify community la leaders and neighborhoods uh, and try to empower those leaders, empower those organizations, whether it be with existing resources that the city has, existing resources that outside funders or outside organizations have that can help fill some gaps, mm -hmm. um, or if there, there's something that doesn't exist in the city that these residents or organizations identify as being critical, we try to find that and fill that gap, whether it be created or find, go outside the city to find it. How did this start? Uh, what was the, like, the impetus for uh, this collaborative being put together? Well, a few years back, uh, in the beginning of the Nutter administration, uh, the mayor, Michael Nutter, sat down with uh, uh, Everett Gillison, uh, now his chief of staff, uh, the managing director, Richard Negrin, and a couple other people, different commissioners from around the city, and they looked at a map of the city and they noticed that there was different hot spots based on the number one st statistic was gun violence, uh, that there was dis different hot spots. And then they layered other maps from different city departments on top of that so they could see where these hot spots of gun violence coincided with vacant lots, vacant houses, uh, the streets, streets department has a trash index. Uh, they put all those together and you could see what neighborhoods or what sections of the city had a disconnect between city services. So Philly Rising was created to go into those neighborhoods uh, and, like I said, identify community leaders, mm -hmm. look for organizations and people who want to do good, who are doing good, and make sure that the city services and other services are there to support them and help them grow and rise their neighborhood. So uh, how has that looked so far? Like in terms of people responding, you said you started with six people in one neighborhood right. and you've grown to 19. So um, can you uh, give a couple examples about Sure. Some impact there? Yeah, I know at the first kickoff meeting I had in, in Strawberry Mansion, um, there was actually a very large turnout. Um, and it's a very interesting time when you go out to a community uh, and say, hey, I'm from city government, I'm here to help. Uh, and oftentimes it's not really well received sometimes because of maybe, you know, it passed. A, Probably a lot of people have said the same thing. Yeah, there's a, some delicate uh, work there in trying to make sure people actually know you really are trying to help and you really do care and are in it for the long haul. Exactly, and there's no words, there's no speech that you can give that's going to assure everybody in one night. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that you can say is, listen, I'm going to be here, I'm not going anywhere. And I, I think that's one of the tenets of Philly Rising is that we're not here for two months or for six months or for one program. We're here for the long haul. Um, and everything we do is going to be done, done in step with the residents. Mm -hmm. I know, I, I can remember a day, it was the weekend before Thanksgiving in 2011, and I was out in a, a vacant lot on a Saturday with two residents. Uh, and I think, I only, I had two residents because the one resident I was with tricked somebody else to come, in, to come <laughs> help with us. Um, so we were out there for about five, six hours cleaning the lot. Um, and it was frustrating, but it was also, it was fulfilling my end of the bargain. Three months later, a little begin late winter, early spring, I brought some extra volunteers. We found a volunteer group from Temple University. They came out, and 15 residents came out to match it. Um, and we did another cleanup on the same block. Cut fast forward to a year and a half later, and that same block where only one resident came to, uh, uh, to clean up, now that block was entering itself in the PMBC Clean Block co Competition. Wow. Um, they came out with minimal help from Philly Rising or from Dan O'Brien. <laughs> um, they came out, they painted a, they painted all the vacant houses on their, on their lot. They painted a mural in the middle of their street. Uh, they provided lunch for all the judges. It was just a really fun, unifying thing. And, and I think that's the value of following up on what you're going to uh, what you're going to do. And all that happened, you know, it was initiated by Philly Rising but it all happened because of the residents' hard work. Yeah. Right. I, I think, you know, real community development, sustainable capacity building, community development happens over a longer term. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Thank you. Um, we'll make sure to share all of this information so that people can get involved. Excellent. I look forward to cool. it. Cool. Great. Thanks, Dan.